Hey guys, how's it going today? So I had a bunch of you asking me what I meant by discharging the capacitors and um, when I basically take a battery and disconnect the cables and connect the cables together, excluding the battery from the, from the equation. Um, what that does is, it, like I said, it discharges any capacitors. And the reason you want to do that is you don't want to have any kind of a system charge in anything in the vehicle. Some people say you can hit the brakes and it'll do the same thing. I don't know about that. I always, I'm, I'm not sure. I've always done it this way and I've never had an issue. I'm going to, I'm about to do it right now. Here's a truck that I bought um, about six months ago. I just, I've never gotten to it. I'm just getting to it now. I knew the original owner and that's the reason I bought it. The odometer itself is not working. It keeps coming up with an error. I can't guarantee you that this is going to fix anything, but I'm going to try it just out of curiosity. When I hook my scanner up to it, it says 16 miles on it. I can read that much. Obviously, the truck doesn't have 16 miles. I believe it has 100,016 100, miles. I think that's what it actually has on it. <coughs> Excuse me. But what I'm going to try doing on this truck is I'm going to try discharging a capacitor to see if it changes anything. Because there's no codes or anything to clear in the instrument cluster. But just, let me just show you what I got. So here's the truck. It's an 06 Chevy 3500 series dump truck. It's got a 6 liter in it. And it's got the 4L80 transmission. It's a uh, four-wheel, technically six-wheel drive. Uh, it's an up-north vehicle, so it does have some rod on it. It's not disgusting. It's not terrible. Um, but anyway, let me just show you real quick. So you come inside. I disconnected my scanner because, like I said, I'm about to do that discharge the capacitors. So here we go. I started up. Now, this thing was sitting for six months. I did not have to jump start it. It actually started no problem on its own. So there you go, odometer error. So let me shut it down, pull the key out. Like I said, I do not know if this is gonna do anything. It may not do anything, but I figure it's worth a try. But I figure too, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, as you saw with that one vehicle that I had that one day, uh, for some reason it wouldn't clear out the codes and it wouldn't allow the ABS to start working again. Once I did this, it allowed everything to start working again. Couldn't tell you why. I'm no um, computer genius, that's for sure. But let me just show you real quick. So here's the battery. I'm about to disconnect the posts themselves. As you can see, somebody's put in some kind of a positive post there uh, with a different type of a terminal. I prefer these when they use a bolt and a nut. I probably did this at one point in time on this truck. So I'm about to disconnect the negative there. So let me go get a tool, a um, little 8 millimeter, and remove that. And let me show you what I'm going to do. So here we go. I got my little eight. I'm just gonna stick it on here. And let me see, oh, this is rounded out. So I can't really use that. Oh, it's completely rounded out. All right, let me get a uh, different tool for this. And now in case you've never seen it, these are battery terminal pliers. Um, I've had these things for, I can't tell you how long. I've had them forever. Uh, they work phenomenally for getting battery terminals off, obviously, the post, the, um, the bolts off. I've used them in many other instances too. Basically just grab the end of it there, and there it goes. Yes, you could do the same thing with vice grips. You know, or the, something like that. You get a good bite on it. But like I said, these things work phenomenally. I can't believe this truck was parked for six months. I haven't touched it, and it started right up. No issues. All right, so there it is. That's disconnected. Now, I want to connect this end, the negative end, I want to connect it to the positive terminal. Obviously, I can't reach all the way over there, but on this, I can actually open up this little doorway here. Now, that's positive right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to short this here. Now, the battery is not connected to anything, so I'm not going to short anything out. But this is going to discharge any capacitors that are in the systems anywhere. Like I said, this may do absolutely nothing for the cluster, but it's not going to hurt to try it. Now the terminal looks clean. I've always disliked GM top terminals. I mean, GM side terminals. Can't stand these things. I don't know why they ever used them. And then, of course, once they finally got out of them and they started using, sorry, and they started using top terminals, of course, they put top terminals in a position, in a spot where you could barely even get to the battery. 
I don't understand GM. So let me connect this back up. And it's pretty simple. Just hooking a battery up. So let me do that. Let me get this on there and tight. Now the reason I'm going to keep filming is so you can watch this at the same time I'm watching it. Like I said, these pliers work incredibly well. They get very good grip and they don't slip either, which is kind of amazing if you think about it. Like, I was just able to tighten that with no issues. It's tight. These things work very well. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it actually did anything. Like I said, I don't know if it will. Probably won't do anything, but hey, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Look at that. Bingo. All right. Now, the customer, when I bought it from him, I, I, I totally trusted him. He thought it just went over 100,000. It's got 98,000. So there I just proved it again. Again, discharging the capacitors does work. I impressed myself just now. So, yes, I am happy. So, yes, very cool. So we got 98,349 miles. See that? And I was actually sitting there thinking I was going to have to order a cluster for this thing. And I thought I had 100,016 miles. Rating, whatever I said it was. So, anyway, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So, I hope you got something out of that. So, I, I mean, I learned something myself. So, all right, guys. That's it for now. Hopefully you got something out of my video. If you could, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.